um, a really cool dude. He shouldn't be cool, but he's a really nice guy. Most fashion people you meet are, you know, can be wankers and stuff. But I've met him a couple of times and he's always been very nice and friendly to me. So that makes me a fan automatically <laughs> by proxy. I don't care. But yeah, he is also somebody that I feel like has made the transition from, you know, avant-garde, conceptual to kind of commercial he's seen the avenues where he can make loads of money and really get his brand out there again because unfortunately for most avant-garde or for most avant-garde for most kind of ephemeral out there designers they have to kind of get to that point where they can feed the masses so that they can feed into their creativity and their kind of personal products a real hard balancing act i think the best person to do it out there at the moment at a high level is probably a rick owens right he's able to appeal to the goth ninja nerds the rick um owen loyalist and he's also able to appear to the you know the footballer out there who wants to just wear his trainers on a night out or some shit and i think that's the way you have to really be kind of like you know purist of taurus right kind of the kind of virgil saying that he says but um charles jeffrey's done a really good job of doing that recently too and this show kind of feels like it as well um I love the theatrics of his show. I love the kind of John Galliano vibe that he's kind of always mustering up. It's very theatrical. He's always like front and center of his show. Sometimes he slips himself in kind of incognito. But in this respect, I think an OP is the opening look, reading a book. Maybe it's a poem, a short story with his signature beret and an, and an amazing tailored suit. As always, he's probably one of the best tailors of his generation at the moment or now out in the scene the way he cuts things just like out of this world there's no one really coming close to it and i just hope um over the next few seasons people are able to buy into it again i'm a big fan of it i think the last suits they did previously were some of the best suits i've seen some of the especially well i'm assuming it comes some coming from his scottish heritage some of the checkered or plaid suits were just beautiful and i think he started he'd done them again this season because i'm pretty sure they sold well last season um again look one is him kind of reading a short story poem again got straight away back into the suits they look fucking awesome probably a collaboration with an artist another suit as well so i'm assuming there's a a nod to what's been selling well in the side of stores great jumpers and knitwear that were doing really well it's got a dress in here included another great suit double breasted high-waisted pant interesting shoes here which are collaboration with dr martin just look really interesting right i think they've got these little roll things that you staple into the shoe the derby that's really cool i like that i like that pattern a lot it reminds me of something that maybe Vivian Westwood would make. Again, I like that print on the jumper. It looks really nice. It's again, got the it's signature sort of um, beret, but kind of a bit enlarged, it looks like, at the top there. Right? Extended beret. I like the look of that with some panels and buttons on it. Um, that Those trousers look pretty cool. The makeup is insane, as per usual. Maybe this is a nod to David Bowie. I'm not too sure. Um, again, a nice red hat. It looked number 11. Oof, look number 12 looks exceptional crazy clown again this is okay so i'm assuming this is a collaboration with dr martin's coming out very soon i can't wait to see that charles jeffrey dr martin's collabo looks really interesting i like the little tops and the little swirls on top reminds me of Comme de Garçon. this jacket reminds me a bit of prada maybe prada 2015 i think or maybe one of them that kind of like preppy that preppy one remember that collection that was preppy where they had the, the shrunken up vet the shrunken um knitwear jumpers and stuff there was a jacket that looked similar to this in prada and i think Michel prada does that jacket quite often i'm not sure what, this, what it's called it's like a, a big trench massive boxy shape with usually like a colored um collar like bright fuchsias and stuff and different prints and sometimes it's got like a, a different sort of applique or material on the cuffs on the inside but i'm pretty sure probably something similar but i like that i like the socks also i'd wear the hell out the socks with my recurring shorts yeah the socks are, or the socks or tights are fucking cool the jewelry looks really nice again great suits oh i like that skirt again i'm a big fan of charles jeffrey i think he's done this again shows that he's leaning more into the commercial end of things and trying to get his brand um out there and for the most part, it seems to have worked. Poncho, that suit looks incredible. Um, cropped, double-breasted, look number 21. Again, overall, loads of theatrics, loads of crazy stuff, but loads again. That that shirt here is going to sell like hotcakes. Um, Loverboy shirt with hearts all over it. That's going to sell because that's, that's in the same vein of the uh, Prada shirts that we're seeing everybody wearing nowadays and the other kind of whatever other brand that does the same thing studded um, beret yeah look look number 23 is definitely going to sell really well the jeans look really cool they remind me of they could they could be an, again a 99 percent right sh pair of jeans or a soloist jeans and um, got the dr martin's collabor boots there they'll do really well that entire look would do really well i'm pretty sure on the stores um again nice um more avant-garde look double denim look is gonna do great too that looks fucking awesome i love that 
Wow. That double denim look is awesome. Big fan of that. Again, so yeah, can't wait to see what this looks like in store. Um, again, nice. Uh, is it Terry Cough or Plaid, whatever it's called? But I like that. Again, another great addition to the whole team. Charles Jeffrey out here smashing it. Oh, I love that T-shirt. So again, including again, that's a suit that's probably gonna that's probably gonna be my favorite. Look number twenty thirty-two. It's sort of shrunken and pulled in on the inside. Oh, looks fucking incredible there. Yeah, great suit that. So yeah, Charles, Charles Jeffrey smashed it. Two of my probably standouts of the whole London Fashion Week collection. There he is at the end, taking the applause, of course, as per usual. 